Scott here, and today we're working on an 04 Dodge Ram 2500 series pickup truck, and we're going to take a look at the instrument cluster on this thing. What we're looking for is to see if the instrument cluster is storing any fault codes and if all the gauges and lights are working on it. I'll show you how you do that. Okay, so this vehicle has a in-opt fuel gauge, and we're going to check and see if the gauge is actually capable of reading the fuel in the tank. Uh, this vehicle, you're able to check all the gauges and lights and also scan it for instrument cluster codes. All you have to do is to press the trip meter button and during the time you're pressing the button, you turn the key on and then when you turn the key on, you release the button. And you'll see all your gauges are sweeping and all your lights are on. Now, one other thing you can look for is you check for codes and I'll show you that. You have C code, and then you're going to see 0000, which means there's no codes in the system. Now, the first set of zeros would be a code number, if there was a code in there, and the second set of zeros would be the amount of key cycles that the code stored. <clears throat> so, when you see 0000, there's no false in the system. If you were to see a number in the first set of zeros, and then you see a number in the second set of zeros, that's the code number and the amount of key cycles that the code stored. So this one's looking good. Gauge works. Everybody's happy. Uh, we're going to look elsewhere for the fuel gauge problem. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. What you got? Nothing. What do you got?